All right, chapter seven, lesson five, hands-on. We're gonna generate some patterns. So let's build it. Since the pattern below is made from toothpicks, the first figure uses four toothpicks, one, two, three, four. The second figure uses seven toothpicks, and the third figure uses 10. So this ends up seven, this ends up 10, I'm just gonna label. Assume that the pattern continues. Use toothpicks to model the fourth figure. How many toothpicks did you use? So I'm going to, can you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna draw my um, fourth figure. So one, two, three, four, two, three, Okay, so there's the first figure, there's the second figure, there's the third figure, and so now I've drawn the fourth figure. So how many toothpicks did we use? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We used thirteen. So in figure one we had four, in figure two we had seven, in figure three we had ten. And in figure four, we had 13. So before I draw the next figure, how many do we think we're gonna use? Hopefully you said 16. So there's 13, 14, 15, and 16. We used 16 toothpicks to create our fifth figure. So. Step three, it says to complete the table to show the number of toothpicks needed if the pattern continues. So, our figure number one had four, figure two had seven, figure three had 10. How are these numbers changing? Do you see anything? Well, if you said that one changed by three, you could be right. So, from the fourth figure, we went from 10 to 13, didn't we? And then our fifth figure, we had 16, didn't we? So, is our pattern continuing? It is, so we can assume that for our next figure, we would have three more, so that would be 18. And for our last figure, we would have, oops, excuse me, 16, 17, 18, 19, my bad, 19, and for our last figure, Three more, 19 plus three is 22. So, what did we notice about the number of toothpicks needed for each new figure? Well, it increased. By three. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm, I know that you guys can answer if we extended this pattern to figure eight and figure nine, and then I'm gonna let you work with your group or look to your teacher for instructions as you begin to build a new pattern. Thanks for watching.